Look, it's more exciting. You don't know. It's not. It is. There's no point in putting bets on if you can't watch. Hey, it. welcome back to Route One. They're talking about the horses because they don't want to talk about football because they're both United fans. We're talking about the United match. Doesn't need much more introduction. I'm Dan. That's Shamov. That's Scott. Uh, I'll lead you into it. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Scott has said that he wants to go off the cuff and rant. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to be more reserved because I'm conscious of turning this into another I mean, on TV. Um, hey, they get views. They do get views, so maybe maybe I will rant. Um, I don't know where to start. Scott, do you want to start ranting? <laughs> yeah, or uh, yeah. I just I, I I have some smaller things. Like I, I know that obviously there's an issue with Jose issues with like people's opinions on Pogba nowadays, but there's there's smaller things that I think that need to be fixed first uh, personally I don't think Antonio Valencia is good enough anymore uh, people say he's solid there but he's just so pragmatic on the ball can't play the ball first time are we recording that? I get really paranoid <laughs> when there's already behind the camera the perception of Valencia has changed pretty drastically in a couple of weeks like a couple of weeks ago he was you know he was a solid right back but I don't know but he just he can't do it anymore he lacks know. a left foot like no one else in the Premier League yeah. it's actually incredible how he like even there was one yesterday where the ball came to him, and he tried to hit it with the outside of the right boot. And he just kicked it like twenty yards out. Of the I just, yeah. I, even I've noticed that about him. I know you've got a big problem, Scott. People not being able to use their weak foot. Yeah, but even for like most players, like with Valencia, it's outrageous. Yeah, it's, no, it is. It's terrible. Um, and it was his fault for the first goal. I mean, and the passing all night was so lackadaisical, but that one in particular was so bad. And then there's two passes. Yeah, but I just, I just think like, you know, we talk about how United slow the ball down like when players get on the ball but I actually don't think anyone slows it down as bad as he does like he gets on the ball he'll look down the right wing he'll decide he can't give a ball first time and he'll turn around he'll look inside as if he's going to play with his left he remembers he can't use his left foot and then he just turns back around and plays it back to the centre back yeah. and like even like we could be on a counter he's halfway up the pitch he gets the ball he takes touch takes another touch takes three or four touches while standing in the one spot and uh, he'll just do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, no, some lad just was going in the door and he stopped and started looking to walk towards the door. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. Is he still there? No, no, I don't see him. Okay. Um, yeah, and he'll, he'll just stop, slow the whole play down, turn around and pass it backwards again. I, I want to say something um, as unbiased as possible here and say that statistically this has been you know, his best season since Ferguson retired. I mean, they're probably yeah. going to finish second. They'll hit 80 points in the league. Second round Champions League statistically is the best they've done in the Champions League since 2014. But last night was, and the first leg was nothing short of a disgrace. But, like, what? Like, Sevilla were knocked out by Leicester last season in the Champions League. Yeah. Leicester, who were in turmoil and sacked their manager in between games. Yeah. They were 16th in the league when they did that, when they lost, or when they were knocked out. The Sevilla, who were taken apart by, I know they drew in the end, but they were taken apart by Liverpool at home. And the Sevilla, who lost 5 1 to Spartak Moscow, who called three of their players chocolate bears. I mean, yeah, you know. The, like, yeah. It not only that, they also drew a more. They drew him like they they've sacked their manager over Christmas. And what really annoys me is when you know he went two 0 down and started attacking. When the impetus was on to, like for Sevilla was to defend. Hmm. You know they created three or four guilt edge chances. Yeah, and they, what would they do if they did that? For it now? was very clear that Sevilla couldn't defend. No, yeah. they could. They can't. And like they and conceded five goals or more in like like four or five times this season already. It's like it's baffling that you know they yeah. wouldn't even like like okay. Take away the, the nil all for a minute, like in, yeah. in Sevilla. It's, one, it's just one game. We, we won't talk about that one. We're just gonna like it's nil all. All United had to do was win that game last yeah. night. Like it's not like I know like people say it's a precarious position nil all, but just win the game. Yeah. It's not like yeah. if Sevilla score one away goal, it's over. You yeah. just win the game. Just win a two one. Well, and I don't think I would be. I obviously I'd be annoyed, but I'd be able to accept it if United had gone out last night just straight away at Sevilla, went for the juggler. And just didn't happen for them. They, they yeah. drew one all or something. I could accept it eventually, but to go out so limply against such an average team, they're by far the worst team left in the tournament. And whoever yeah, gets them, yeah. whoever gets them, has an easy passage to the quarter or to the semi-finals, I, and I will beat so. them four or five nil over two legs. I have a, I have a few points here I want to run down and see what you think on them. First one I have here, I've got some notes that I wrote down just after the game. Lineup problems. Firstly, Fellaini started ahead of McTominay and Pogba. Yeah. Fellaini has what played. He's played minutes, 30 minutes. Month, 30 minutes. Few months. McTominay did very well against Liverpool. Did well against Chelsea. He's yeah. been good in all you know, these and big games. Pogba's Pogba, you know, you get you know. But also then you've got 
Rashford scored two goals on the left wing against Liverpool, and he gets put on the right because he wanted to accommodate Alexis Sanchez, who personally I don't think he's been good for United. I know it's he's he's new, but he's not been good. And then after that, he's I, new, but he's not new. Yes, yeah, no, he's apparently. You know, it's not like he came from Spain and he's well, trying he to, to adapt, adapt to yeah. a new yeah, style no, he's of football. Adapted. And he's supposed to be this world class player. Like people talk about, oh, the play is too slow for him and stuff like that. If you're a world class player, yeah. you should be I able mean, to look, adapt. Arsenal haven't been good lately, but. Even Aubameyang and Mkhitaryan are better than there, much yeah. quicker. Yeah. I think what what really affects United is the football they played last night was so negative. Like Graham Souness, I don't agree with a lot of what he says, mm. but he got it spot on. It's like watching the Championship. He just get the ball to a fullback and punt it up to Lukaku. He wins the flick on, or he doesn't win the flick on. You challenge for the second ball, and you go from there. You, it's there's no identity to how United have played since yeah. Mourinho took over. There there were a few other things I noticed there. Even like at nil all, there were. United weren't attacking at all at nil all, yet Sevilla seemed to get a bunch of counter attack opportunities. But United kept giving the ball away in their own half and stuff. And like, yeah, I mean, pa- some, the passing yeah, was so the, sloppy. The, fir- last the first goal came, came from Sevilla winning yeah. the ball in your half. Like, I, it, like it was so aimless. It was just it was going nowhere. To like Mourinho has always built good teams mm-hmm. or like good defensive teams. But looking at that team, like the Inter Milan team, the one two thousand ten had Lucio and Samuel at centre back, had Zanetti, had. Cambiasso and Stankovic. It was a good team, like good solid defensive team, but like Smallin's not good enough, Young's not good enough, Valencia's not well, he's been United's probably well, Boy is United's best defender. He wasn't great yeah. last night, but like the and then Fellaini playing as a holding midfielder, that's not the right kind of players you want to play that defensive football because you just can't do it. You need I don't know, McTominay should have started ahead of Fellaini one hundred percent. Absolutely. And you're playing Sanchez, Lukaku, Lingard and Rashford, four attacking players, what and you expect them to do defensive work. Like I don't know what he expects to happen there. I, yeah, there's no point in playing like realistically six defenders and then expecting the four attackers to defend as well. Yeah, and that's you what know? he does. He has yeah. Rashford as another right back and Lingard as another. But left. it's also it's six defenders and three of your four attackers are basically strikers. Yeah, there's not a lot of creativity there. It's all it's all lads who you'll expect to get. It's goals, just putting Rashford like, on the wing because he's quick. It's yeah. not. Uh, that's the, like you know bringing in Alexis Sanchez who's predominantly a left forward. When you've got Rashford and Mark Shallow also play there, and you've got really your only lad who can play on the right, mm. so it doesn't make sense to me that you wouldn't try and play Alexis Sanchez on the right. But I guess maybe you're saying, "Oh, we want to get him into form," but it puts Rashford out of form. Who's doing well there? Uh, it's Even just it's, it's well upset there. everything. I think bringing in like, I it looks like it was a good sign. Yeah. because well, no, they good. needed to get rid of McTarry because he know, wasn't happy. You know what I've kind of been comparing it to in my mind? It's it's like Di Maria. So a great player, but he. Just was not it, using them in the right way. Yeah, did you need him, or is it just for the name? Mm, was it was it because City wanted him? I think it was because City wanted him, and they didn't want another player. And they probably should have let City have him because he wouldn't have got into the City I, team no, based on current form. It kind of felt like a bit of a power play type thing, and who knows? Maybe it'll work. To be fair, I hold my hands up. At the time, yeah. I thought it's a good deal for United. It's a good deal yeah. for Arsenal. Because he's, I mean, you sign a player of Alexis Sanchez as a caliber. You're like, yeah, why wouldn't you? You gotta say yes when an opportunity well, comes up. In, in, realistically, when we didn't pay any money for him either, as well, like we had a straight stop. Yeah, paying a yeah. lot on wages. We're so. paying a lot on wages, but we didn't have to pay a fee. Yeah. No. You just swapped Mkhitaryan, who, you know, if, want, it isn't wanted there. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? So it kind of did look like a good deal. But yeah, it I don't. It's not. A, it's not a bad deal. I just don't think it's that helpful. No. Yeah. It well, just hasn't worked. Either. What really upsets me though is like, United. Yeah. For two or three minutes, and the first two or three minutes, they came out and they kind of went at them a little bit, and yeah. then they just sat back. And the atmosphere, like it, Old Trafford, does have some good Champions League nights. And uh, yeah, like no, I'll, I'll no, 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 minute, yeah, but no, like, yeah, the, like, the atmosphere was building before, and it was good. In, but as soon as you know they sat back, the atmosphere yeah. just saps you, away. You, you know, all you can blame, yeah, you really can't blame the fans. because no, like, you, you could see it. They'd be chanting, they'd be screaming, attack, 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 and then a, a back pass. Yeah, like okay, and deflated. Like you think back to United's big Champions League nights, like Barcelona and away. Bayern Munich in 2010 I know they lost but they went 3-0 up yeah. but it was always built on going at them and getting at them early getting the crowd behind you there was just none of that Like it's just it was kind of drift through the game and I hope you nick a goal from a, a knockdown like Fellaini's in the first half where he go, just broke some and they got one on one with the keeper but and I know people who we've, we've kind of we've been talking about that how bad Sevilla are and they've been they've been good in recent years especially in Europe but this is like the worst Sevilla team oh it is I've got again I guess they're on 45 points 10 11 to points go. off to yeah. top 4 aren't they? yeah last season they finished on 72 points so they need to win 9 of their remaining 10 oh, they've gotten worse than what yeah. they were last they season they won 3 Europa Leagues running but since then they've done absolutely nothing they yeah 1-1 one, one, one with Maribor 5-1 to Moscow uh, this is the, and United have given them their first Champions League quarter final since 1958 and their first ever win in England, but that's yeah. that's irrelevant. Um, the 
other thing it's like Sevilla I'd say are similar to Leicester like in terms yeah. of the quality so say United were to get Leicester in a League Cup semi-final it, just imagine if they'd defend like if they'd gone out with that mindset at, yeah. all, at home and away to Leicester it just wouldn't be accepted and it shouldn't be accepted what they did last night uh, I'd, like, I'd kind of come across as a bit of a hic- hypocrite in some ways because I really stood behind Mourinho because I did fully believe that you do have to have a strong defensive basis to go places yeah. these days yeah, no, I, I still believe that I, I, I still believe that like, but it, it's actually just taking the piss no like the phrase the phrase like the Mourinho masterclass defensively and all, it gets bandied around a lot and it make it's true a lot of the time but when it doesn't work it, it's like a, it, it didn't seem like he was like yeah we'll, ex- we'll have this plan and the plan didn't get executed correctly the plan didn't make sense no like I'm actually I think I compared the the atmosphere to two Ferguson nights and I think that's unfair comparing it to Ferguson like Ferguson could get things out of players that no one else could I'm going to compare it to a David Moyes performance <laughs> to just put it into perspective the one big performance that I had under David Moyes was at home to Olympiacos mm. and they got the crowd behind them and they won they went out and really got out of Olympiacos when they needed to that's David Moyes yeah. who's done that with an average team. That's the thing. Despite that team having won the league the year before, that was a far worse team than United. Oh, United. like this team. Uh, like you can't even bring money into it because of the inflation and all. But this team is of much higher quality. Oh, it is. It's one hundred percent. Like well, I don't know what Ferguson would do to this team, but then, and I hate to say it, but I think Guardiola would do a lot better with that team than Ferguson. Like over than then Mourinho. Mourinho. If they swapped teams, would would De Bruyne be playing like he is for for City if Mourinho? It's, it's, I mean, it's a hard call. It's. It is odd to see Mourinho in this way. I mean, because it's it's his second season. He usually doesn't. Th- usually, it's his best season yeah. statistically. Uh, this is he's actually he's acting like it's his third season. Yeah, he had some awful things to say after the game. I don't know if he's. I, I'm not happy with his press conference. Yeah, That's, <laughs> I think that is the worst thing that happened. Did online. you see the quote? I yeah. actually got so angry. Yeah, the line, yeah, because I have the line here. I've sat in this chair twice before with Porto, Man United out, with Real Madrid, Man United out. So that's nothing new for this club. And yeah. I've said here, it's he sim- he's downplaying the failure. He's mocking the club and he's bigging himself. Up yeah, it's a, it's an ego ones. trip he's on. He's talk. He's speaking as if he's speaking to Mourinho fans rather than to United yeah. fans. And I don't know if you watched the actual press conference. I but only his, saw the highlights. His demeanor was just like I don't care. It's yeah. like he didn't want. He's like I'm getting paid either way. It doesn't yeah. matter. And United will, will finish second or third, and yeah. they'll, they'll say it's been a good season. I mean, that's my question. Would getting top four, top two, would that be a good season? Let's say <laughs> throwing an FA Cup. Is it a good season? For, for this United team statistically in the last five years it is but at the same but in t- the position that we were in like you know we're in second yeah. all along we, well, we dropped the third what like once in the last no, yeah, it's like long. Before, they dropped when Liverpool played first basically yeah. it's the only time but like you're just you're talking about the position that we were in to go and do things this year is that yeah. we had a, not always a comfortable lead over Liverpool yeah. or Spurs, whoever was and in third, it, but we were comfortable-ish. Yeah. And it's somewhat of a false second because it's nowhere near first. Yeah, like, yeah. Second, third and fourth this year don't oh, really make it. Second, third and fourth are irrelevant now. Obviously in terms of Champions League qualification, but it's not even like, oh, well, United were the closest to getting yeah, no like, to get the, like They've even brought in fourth to get to automatic qualification, yeah. so it doesn't matter if you finish fourth, third or second, realistically. Yeah. Okay, you, you can boost your own confidence by saying, all right, we're the second best yeah. team, we can go again next season. But say, hypothetically, Liverpool get to a semi-final and finish fourth. That's a better season than United if could yeah. come in second. I'd be much happier with that. Um, it was like, the one thing I wanted was to get through and have a big night at Old Trafford, because Sevilla is not a big night at Old Trafford. Yeah, United never got a big team. No. I mean, it's, kind of, I mean, it's been the same with Liverpool so far. But they, I they will now, yeah, unless, unless they get Sevilla. Sevilla. Thanks, and, but then they'll get through, and then they'll get yeah. one eventually. So, it's, I, uh, like, I thought when the draw was made, Liverpool and United got similar quality teams. Yeah. And Liverpool just went and blew their shit I mean, team yeah, away. Liverpool and did what they were. Sp- and yeah, I mean, well, credit the poor. They're not shit, but uh, well, they're not pretty shit. Yeah. Like Champions League standard, maybe. <laughs> it's not five nil at home. They're yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, yeah, yeah, Liverpool did what you have to do. You go out and you're supposed to blow those teams away. Yeah, it's like take a risk away from home. If you, it's much better to go out. Like even Roma last night, two one is nearly a better like position. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. But no, like, it's... but like I don't know. Just go and have a. Yeah. They're go with them. Like, I, I want to talk about the goals right because Ben Yedder subbed on 72nd minute 74th minute scores a fantastic goal yeah it was a great finish second goal was second goal yeah good but first goal I don't know I can't remember who lost it for United but someone gave Valencia, it away Valencia, Valencia. Valencia. Pa- great pass through to Ben Yedder but somehow he really shouldn't have been able to find himself between the two centre-backs like that and then well it was the two full-backs that gave him that position yeah. the yeah, two full-backs yeah. were too deep yeah. and giving away the ball like that yeah. I find it hard to criticise boy. he tries to get back Ben Yedder just beats him with good play, and it's mm. a very good finish. That's a good finish. The second one... Second goal, four minutes later, 
United looked like they just gave up. Like, Sevilla didn't want to go. They didn't look like they were trying to go for anything. I, I firmly believe if United kept it one all uh, or one nil mm. and got that goal when they did, the yeah, one all like they could have easily yeah. gone on to it. Like no, they just switched off because the second goal it's a corner. There are two Sevilla players in the box. There are seven, six United players. Five of them are at the front post. Yet a Sevilla player, so Sevilla, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I got tripped up there. Sevilla player wins an uncontested header at the front post and heads it back to Ben Yedder, who's one on one with Ashley Young, who doesn't know what to do with him. Ashley Young was unlucky. He slipped as he was trying to deal. But yeah. He shouldn't be put in that situation. No. Really. You shouldn't have five defenders guarding nobody. You shouldn't have an auxiliary fullback, like uh, you know, someone who's playing out of position yeah. technically. On their Martin's best their goal scorer. Yeah. 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 You should have a centre-back taking that. Ben is their, by far their biggest threat. And Boy, he just... Like, I don't know, just seeing on this afterwards, he literally didn't look at the ball. Yeah. Didn't oh, He was looking at the man. It was, but, uh, whoever headed it, it was either Boy or Matic that was supposed it to be. It was yeah. Boy. Yeah. Boy was looking directly at him, wasn't looking at the ball. And somehow went this way, yeah. and the player went that I way. Just, I don't understand how there are only two Sevilla players there. Why not double up each of them? You could, they could have four players on Ben Yedder if they wanted to. De Gea didn't cover himself in glory either. I don't no, know. It was, well, I, th- yeah. I think blame De Gea is a very, very yeah. stupid thing to do, but though, because yeah, no, it would have been 2 is, or 3 yeah. nil in the first leg. There was, there was the save De Gea made in the 91st minute or so, mm. and he just looked so dejected afterwards. I mean, like, I don't know how much more he can take. That's what I'm saying. You'd have to worry. Is this his last year at United? Does he want... Like, he... We'd say, it, we'd say it all the time in the show. Best goalkeeper in the world, at least second best. Mm. He should be in the Champions League finals and stuff like well, he shouldn't be having to put up with that shite. Right. Like, did you see the defending for that? I know United were chasing the game at the time, but the yeah, defending was just yeah. embarrassing. Um, Mourinho is warring with Pogba. I mean, he's like I, I know Pogba's got a lot of criticism, but his confidence is completely yeah, he gone. He was not good. He but passed out of play three or four times. To not start one. him in either leg of the Champions League yeah. is ba- like it show a bit of faith. I know him. money doesn't mean everything, but he is your most expensive yeah. player, and he's a big name, and he's a big player. He's better than Fellaini, no yeah. matter how badly he's playing. He's better than Fellaini. Fellaini doesn't even win headers. I, I don't understand. But Mourinho's warm with Pogba, and if it's a case of Mourinho or Pogba, you have to back the player that's going to be there for ten years rather than the manager who's Who has probably going to leave next, next season. season. Yeah. Um, that is another note I've taken is are there too many egos at the club there are because you got Pogba you got Sanchez Sanchez you got Mourinho Lukaku somewhat I think Lukaku was a constant professional I think he was the best player I think Lukaku actually I his hold up play was very good I have to say the last few weeks Lukaku has really like I don't think he's, yeah, I don't think he's always been good, but he's a he's an extremely hard working player. Yeah. I mean yeah. The, the other one I had was United are looking to get, at least get rid of Ibrahimovic in that regard. Yeah. Because there's so many big persons. Even Lingard's getting a personality on him, like But Lingard's performing. Yeah, Lingard's yeah. Lingard's doing alright. He's doing yeah. well. No, he's doing well. That's the difference. Yeah. Lukaku and Lingard deserve to have an ego yeah. Yeah. because they're performing. Like uh, Pogba yeah. doesn't. No. Like he can fuck off. Yeah. To be honest. I just you do I was the big ag- advocate for him in the beginning and I really had a lot of faith in him, but if you're not backing it up, my my problem with Pogba is you, you hear the you know oh well he shouldn't be playing in the two man midfield. If you're one of considered supposed to be one of the best centre mids in the world, you should be able to adapt. To oh god, yeah, that's absolutely. a fair point. Yeah. But I think at the same time, if you have like th- if he is one of the best midfielders in the world, you play him in his best. Yeah, you position, should be like, building around him. Like, but I don't. I don't. He shouldn't look terrible when you don't. And I don't see the point in playing an attacking-minded midfielder as your defensive midfielder in a game where you go to set up and. You know, shit setter, shut up shop. I don't understand yeah. that. It would have made made complete sense playing Matic, McTominay, and Pogba in that game. Yeah, I would have think, and leaving Alexis out. So I just I did. Play. He wasn't good against Liverpool, and he took the best player against Liverpool out of his position. He has he hasn't been good since he moved at all. No, um, I think what really needs to be called into question has been United's investment. Like yeah. defensively, t- Smalling is. I think he's genuinely championship standard, maybe b- bottom half of the Premier League. Yeah, there's and they haven't replaced him. Like it's paid, still a conversation of oh well, we're three or four players away, and it shouldn't be at this no, stage. No, like they paid thirty million for Lindelof in the summer. Yeah, hasn't done it. He hasn't looked nearly worth thirty hasn't million. Played. Even in today's market of thirty million, where that's mm. not that much, he hasn't looked near thirty million. City spent fifty five million on the board. Oh, America board, yeah. And like, why did United not go for a more? Yeah, like, even that. Even if you take that, like, 
Chelsea got someone like Rudiger, who I don't think is particularly good, but he's done better than. He's much more solid than like. Yeah. There's a lot of, like a lot of centre halves that they could have gone for. That, so I'm a lot more like, proven. Uh, Benedict Calvert has went for free to Juventus. Yeah, you could have stepped in on that. He's a great defender. I know Napoli are driver hard bargain, but Koulibaly looks mm-hmm. a good player. Yeah, like. I, I do think every team in the world is going to be after Alderweire this summer because he's got one year left in his contract, and Spurs don't want to pay out. Yeah, I think everybody's going to want him. I think United will too. They, they, United, if they can get another centre back. And a, like, and a left back and a right back like no well either genuinely give Luke Shaw some time to become mm. a left back and stop playing Ashley Young ahead of him because it makes no sense or go out and buy a proper left back because yeah. I can't take Ashley Young doing another season at left back I just can't yeah that was supposed to be stop gap that, yeah, that, that was supposed to be if, like I mean, Louis it'd, van Gaal said yeah. that it'd be like if, if it'd be like if Liverpool went into this season with Milner at left back yeah like no they didn't I know they only bought an 8 mil lad who they traded another player for no but they got well. an absolute bargain yeah, there yeah like, done great that they like the whole got screwed out of a deal there like right. any any closing notes on the match uh, I don't like it's going to be difficult for Mourinho to win back United's you know, fan base after that. Yeah, it's uh, that's all I like. I'm not it. sure what you can do this season to win it. If he wins the cup, they gloss it over. Uh, if yeah. Wins the cup and comes second, they gloss it over. It's been a decent season for United, but I don't know because even at the game, I was at the Chelsea game a couple of weeks ago. United mm-hmm. fans are close to yeah. the surface. Win- like they're winning on the surface. Like. Winning the FA Cup and finishing top four, whether it be second, third, or fourth, is the most Arsenal thing. Yeah, ever. exactly. I was about to say, it sounds like one of Arsenal's recent seasons where they're like. Yeah, it means we get to keep him for next year and that's about it the ends justify the means at the end of the day and the ends aren't there so okay. and no Scott nope Shamab's sum- summarised it pretty well yeah. alright so at the end of the last episode we did our uh, predictions for the match I can't remember what scores we had but I have it down here we all got one point so none of us got the scorecard yeah. but we all said City had win tonight's match I was going to do <laughs> Iran versus Syria because I saw that was on but it got cancelled so we're going to have to do Barcelona Chelsea score prediction Scott 2-1 Chelsea I'm going 2-1 Chelsea as well they're going to do a proper uh, defensive performance not like you know I'm going to say 1-0 Barcelona great and that's that's everything to talk about today uh, we should have another case study of tomorrow and then Friday we'll be doing a live reaction to the Champions League group stage draw sorry not the group stage draw quarter the quarter final draw I'm not too sure these odds are going to want to be here but we might have Finch and Leo as well see you then Mourinho